Got it. Good. Hey, hello everyone. Uh, for those of you that are here, probably nobody right now, but somebody soon. It's Nikki Bacal D'Angelo, and I'm going to go out and do some prospecting tonight, and I'm going to do it in an area that I was told to by a friend. So we're going to go out there. Um, yeah, we won't talk about what's gone on in my star citizen. Yeah, citizening. Yeah, we, we, we won't talk about it at all. Yeah, I've got Yeah, I've got on armor for a uh space marshal. Yeah. I did it. I went over the top. I bit the bullet. And there's somebody with the same armor. Yeah, it is uh not something I'm proud of, though I could be proud of it. Everyone's here because I think everyone crashed and just got back into this instance. So we're going to just get a ship as quickly as we can. Thank you. What landing pad? Come on, show me. Ah, oh, good job. It's always something 07. All right, we're going to go this way. And then we're going to go to the door that never opens. Yeah, I know I said that. You always know when the server's overloaded when this one door over here doesn't work. So I'm not used to playing it in 1920 by 1080. Everything looks so much smaller. Oh, I don't see any of you out there right now, but we're going to go right over here. And shoot up this nice little... And 7 is this way. And we are getting there. Look at this. We got to it. Yeah, I've already talked about this ship inside of my YouTube video on mining, so I'm not going to do it again here. Let's just get in the seat, and then we'll be able to uh, move forward from there. Come on. Just, okay, you close that. Now open this door. Open that door and get in the chair. Good. Now I'm going to pull over my handy dandy trusty flight controls. And I've got everything situated to go. All right. So we're going to flip the switch. Let's light this candle and get things working. It always starts with that on now. All right, let's see where we got to go. Because there's a lot of people here today. A lot of people I'm not, are we? We're broken. We're broken. So we are going to go somewhere where we can get unbroken. 
Hopefully there's nobody there shooting down people. I'm in Star Citizen, by the way. Now I'm streaming. Doesn't mean you can't jump in. I'm going, I'm going to a spot that somebody told me to go to where I can definitely make two plus thousand per run. So I'm going to go check it out. I think it would be cool. It's on Daymar. We're going to put her in here. Howdy, 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 Joe. You're welcome to come in if you're feeling up to it. Okay, good. Let's get this repaired. And we'll refuel while we're here. Let's make sure everything is good. It is. If I'm repaired, why do I still have smoke? You think they would have gotten rid of the smoke. Yeah, we've got problems here. And there's somebody over there being bad, so we want to get out of here as quickly as possible. There's Crusader, Port Alasar. That's Daymore. That's where we want to go. I want to get out of here quickly. What's up, Grawlin638? A rock worth 10, wait, 10K? All right, we'll do that in a little bit. I got to manipulate things there. Let's see, my, my list. All right, let's see if this works. Yeah, I don't know how to make it work. How do you get to be able to type in there? I am not broken. Oh, don't worry. All right. We're in a prospector. We're not going to deal with this. Yeah, so what do you say? Put... Vredon. How do you add it in this? I used to be able to move the cursor around when I held down the F, or was it the control? Or was it Alt? It was one of them, but I can't do it anymore. Right Alt, right Alt. Thank you. V R E E D A. And there you go. All right. Oh, so it's right alt. That's what keeps going on. All right, so that makes a lot of sense now. All right, so I'm probably being hit in that by accident somehow. All right, let's see if we can find some place. Yeah, I can't get it working. All right, so we have no game sound, so we're going to try to get that taken care of. All right, Star Citizen is right there. Discord. Is that better? Joe.
still don't hear anything. It just started. Oh yeah, now I do. I have to get away from this person. All right, good. Now we are fixed, Joe. Joe, you saw me get fixed, and I still have smoke. All right, I was told to look for the dark circles, like those patches right there. We're right there. So that's what we're going to look for. Those dark circles. And I learned my lesson following Joe into a planet one day. Into one of the moons. I think we were landing on Selen. And we went in too hot. And pretty much he bounced off the planet with no, none, zero damage. And I exploded in a big giant fireball. Huge fireball. 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 Oh, there we go. That beautiful reentry. That really is. Look at that. The mining piece is not even stowed. Like that wouldn't burn off in reentry. Just some things just don't make sense. So I was told to look for the dark rings. There's lots of dark rings down there. And that's where we're going to go. I love the squeaks that you hear. I'm going to turn up the sound just a little bit. Yeah. I feel that I have to play with the sound lower because I start to shout from time to time. All right. I hope there's no lag today, but if you can you see online that I'm getting 43, 43 frames a second. That's just unheard of for me lately. Yeah. Still have that. They've got lots to fix in this game. So the dark rings, you look for the dark rings, not the light rings. The darker the ring, and you look for the igne igneous rock. Igneous? Igne ignoramus rock? <laughs> All right. Looks like it's a windy day. We're definitely getting blown around up here. Now, it's going to be windy soon over here because there's a tropical storm coming up the Gulf Coast. Oh, I should have looked at the weather app to see what the weather in Damar was. Hey, Joe, give us a weather report for Damar. <laughs> All right, so we'll go towards this ring first. We're going to just get our altitude down just a little bit more. All right. And bring up that mode. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. We're probably too high. I saw something for a second. Uh, I don't like when this happens. When there's nothing that shows up, that's bad. All right, Vadin. Vridin, Vriden, Vridan. All right, so I don't see anything over here just yet. Yeah, every time I come to Damar, it's the same thing. Other people have a good luck with Damar, but. I always get these server sync issues. Always. Oh, there's some stuff over there. Let's go over there. 
All right. So is it? Sorry, I stepped away. Oh, that's no problem. I'm going. I'm going towards a what looks like an outcropping. All right, Vri. What planet are we going to be going to, Vri? All right, we should get you in Discord somehow. All right, let's look at this one. All right, it's diamond. But what kind of rock is it? Granite. We don't want granite. There's one 300 away over here. 200 and it's inside that rock so it'll probably be on this side there it is it's gonna be tough to mine if it's inside but we'll look at it it's granite again all right we don't want granite we want ignorant igneous rocks so we want to go towards somewhere else Somewhere else. What's this? It's another granite deposit. It's a biggie. 4,000 kilograms and 0.08 diamond. That's just crap. More granite. Don't like it. Diamond. Okay. All right. We'll go over here. Well, that's just going to be... Oh, a greasy... Oh, it's got shit in it, though. It's not that much. 0.49 won't get me anything. I learned that the other day. All right, so let's go over here. Yeah, we're in a granite outcroppings. Yeah, 0.5 a greasy... Which means that we'll probably find one that has good content over here somewhere. That's a granite. Corundum. Whoa, it's got a greasium. How much? 0.44. That's not good. All right. What have we got? Corundum. And diamond, not good enough for me. That one spawned over there. Yeah, just granite. All these granites coming up. So if you're watching the stream at all, Vri, tell me what moon and whereabouts you want to go to. And I'll just move myself over there. Stop that. It's like my joystick just started doing its own thing. All right, so we're not going to find anything over here, are we? No, it's built into that rock. Yeah, they should do a better job at this. All right, let's see. All right, cargo capacity. That's uh, not good enough, not good enough. Okay. He's over there, 42k away. All right. That's a big rock. Yeah, another 4200. Yella, meet me at Caso. Okay, I'll get going now. Let's see what this is. It's just corundum. Okay. Mining away. And we're going to get out of here as fast as we can. What beautiful, oh, it's kind of jerky doing this today. Great frame rate, but 
shitty lag. It's still making a noise like we are broken and we're not. We are not broken. Stop it. See it, listen to me. Okay, there we go. B. I think yellow is gonna be this way. Yeah, it's right there. I gotta put some kind of button on my joystick for this. I gotta figure out what button to use. Okay. He said, meet me at Caso. Caso. Why does he want me to make a uh, Caso? Caso. What is Caso? I wonder what Caso is. I can't read the little numbers. Caso. There we go. Caso aid station. All right, a little bit of lag there. We dropped down to 15 frames for a few seconds. Thanks, Crete. Vri. <laughs> we already figured it out. I've just never been here. Wow, it's on uh, the icy side of the moon. Did I finally get rid of my my smoke in my cabin? Is the smoke in my cabin gone? Nope. It's still there. Okay, let's bring up our navigation menu. We won't be able to jump to it, but we'll be able to keep it centered so I know where I'm going. All right. So all I want to do tonight is figure out where the good rocks are. Get some good rocks. Joe, are you going to load it up or are you going to go to bed? I don't know if I'll be on much longer. I thought so. Yeah, I'm good for like one one run tonight and then I gotta go to bed. I've gotta do a paper over the next few days. I could see how you might need better mining lasers, better scanners. Scanners that tell you more when you pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got room, you know. Yeah, it's it's a good it's a good first effort. Well, and also the prospector shouldn't be the end game thing, right? I mean, it's got to be something better out there so I hope so where they have room to make things better but if the Orion how much was the Orion like 600 no three yeah if that's the biggest right <laughs> this guy's telling me I'll go to bed rich 
He sounds like he's a cool guy. Oh, that tungsten's five. Just looking at different rocks while I'm waiting for a Vree to get here. Not much else in that one but diamond. So my guess is that there is a lot of something here. All right, where are you? All right, I got you. Okay, gotcha. All right, we're going to go follow Vri. He knows where he's going. I should have made note of where we were. All right, let's take the scanner off. He's... I didn't realize how far ahead he wasn't. Just wait a few seconds, you'll see an almost mistake. <laughs> this is why you have to follow people from behind into one of the sides. <laughs> Hello. know, you get bad about stopping too. Yeah, but you know, you don't follow from behind. I should have known that. I should have known that, right? Graphics are so beautiful on this planet. Even though it's a moon. Gold. All right, where did he go? What is the status on this game's development? It's still moving. Still coming. We're looking at the mining element now, which is pretty fun. All right, so what is this? It's gold. What's 0.5 to 100? What does that mean? No, I'll crack it. I mean, I'm showing somebody how we play this game, possibly, unless he's a troll, which I don't know. And just to answer my question, am I going for the gold? What is this gold 0.5 to 100? Wow, that's hard to crack. Gotta get a little bit closer. And then we can play with the throttle. And we'll see how much we make. Oh, this one here? Wait, he's saying this one here. Where is he looking? 
Where is he looking? He's looking over there. All right. This one here he wants me to crack. All right. Let's see what it is. We still have to see what it is. Oh, greasy him 10%. Holy shit. Thank you so much, Bree. All right, this is cool. Hopefully, I'm not bogged down by lots of lag. We got to get it a little bit closer. To get our energy transfer a little bit higher. And we'll bring up the throttle just a little bit. Lag is on the stream, yeah, just a little bit. I'm not a, you know, although I'm, I'm not a part, I'm a partner, not a, I'm, I'm the, whichever one I am, it's not enough to have this stream instant. I could sign up for it though, as a Twitch Prime member. All right, let's see. I want to keep that just flat. I want to keep that flat as we enter into the green because we're going to have to back off as soon as it starts getting hot. So we're at 26. Let's raise it back up a little bit. We were at 26. There we go. 26. Source binary, welcome to the stream and Scoogreg, Scoogog? Is that your name? We did drop just a little bit too far down. We're going to start raising up the energy in this rock a little bit. Is it 12% down the hill? Okay, I'll look at that one too. I won't have trouble. I get the lag on the server sometimes keeps the throttle in my opinion, from reacting to you instantaneously. So I'm just going to get this over here. There we go. And now we back it off little by little as it goes up. Why did it go down? Because we're not hitting the rock in the same place. So we're going to hit right at 28. I'm doing great. Thank you. I just lost it, though. It's the lag on the throttle. It made me go down a little bit too far. See, there it goes up. 32.9. It's, it won't drop. There, it dropped too far. Come on. Good, good, good. Come on. We'll keep it right there. And we shattered it. Look at that. And now we're going to change our laser to the extraction laser and fill us up. Look at all the pieces going down the hill. Look at all the pieces rolling down the hill. There you go. Just come to mama. Thank you. I've been getting better at it. It's just a little laggy, as you can see, from the way that my computer is twitching. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Still getting more in here. All right. Any more? Yeah. And then I got to crack that little one, right? So, Vri, where do you sell it? I mean, do you just sell it to one of the places on this uh, moon? Or do you go back to Port Alisar or to Grimax or to Levski? Where's your favorite place to sell? All right, 50%. The ship could hold one rock, which is so pitiful. Alasar, okay. All right, let's get a little bit more. So one rock pretty much fills you up, one node. I want to see where this is in relation. So when you fly over to, uh, when you fly over to Caso, whatever it is, Caso, which direction did you point in? That would be my first question. I can't see what this rock has in it. There it goes. I want to make sure that we were going to fracture it. All right, good. We'll fracture it, no problem. And fracturing it again. Yeah? That's funny. I really appreciate you showing me this. I really need to go back to that... Um, where we started from, so I know which direction we went in to get here. All right, thanks. Yeah, you know, as a pilot, I like to fly by the seat of my pants in real life, <laughs> which is not true. I always flight plan out when I fly in real life. Oh, this is wonderful. Look at this, and we're, f we're almost full. This last rock should fill us up real fast. So, Joe, don't go to bed until you see how much I make. All right, let's put this away. All right, so where did we come from? All right, so there is, okay. So does it tell you what direction? And that's the one thing I don't like on this. Is there a directional coordinates? It doesn't say east, west, north, south. Hey, you haven't played it? No, Trip, trip Taker. How the hell are you? It's good to see you. Haven't seen you for quite a bit. Now, I've been offline for a bit. I'm trying to see where from... I'm just going to fly straight at... Okay, we're going to watch out because we're going to run out of fuel. I don't want to run out of fuel at all because you'll fall back to the ground and die. Yeah, it's 20 kilometers out, but I want to see, once we get to the basin, I'll be able to see which direction because I'm flying straight at it. I'll be able to see what the ground looks like and know where to fly 20 kilometers. Servers are mean. Let's go so fast. Servers are mean. All right. That shouldn't be... I shouldn't be too bad to do that. I just want to see the... This area. The servers aren't the only thing that I mean. It's always mean on a fly-free weekend. So I need to take a look at this. And then I'll have this video to look at. So away from the peak. And as we come down here... Okay, so it will be it'll be straight out that way. Okay, we're out of here. 
Right, I can't use my afterburner because I'm running low on fuel. So I'm just going to take us up to about 90 degrees. There we are, 90 degrees, straight up climb. We shouldn't be too long getting out of the atmosphere. But I burnt my uh, fuel getting out of the atmosphere to join you here. And I don't want to fall back to the ground like... Uh, I forget who it was. Vegas. Vegas fell out of the sky yesterday when he was playing with me. He ran out of fuel just before he exited the atmosphere. My ship is like going all over the place. My hands are off. Look at this. What the hell? You ever see that stuff? Is there real wind on this planet? Wow. So, Vri, how much do you get on a run for that much agresium? I guess I'll find out, right? Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I want to see what it is when we get there. All right. Oh, my God. This thing is just nuts. I fixed it. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, I'm going to have to talk to those people. Oh, my God. What the hell? All right. We're almost out of the atmosphere. Shouldn't be too much longer. I think it's 25 or 30 on this. We'll see it in a little bit. Which is a pretty thick atmosphere for a uh, moon, by the way. I've been drinking cranberry juice all day to try to get my my body back up to full health. Jump to OM3? Okay. As soon as I'm out of... As soon as I'm out of the the atmosphere. I think OM3 is right there. There it is. I can't jump to OM3 till I'm out of the atmosphere. All right, jump to OM3. And now we'll be able to jump to Port Alisar. There's Vri. Vri Don. Thanks, Vri. All right, and now we'll be able to get straight over to Port Alisar. And we're ready. Come on, come on. Avery, could you uh, jump us? I think we're linked somehow. Let's say. Yeah, I think we're linked. Yeah, we were linked. Thank you. That's good. We were in a party. That's how we were... You went way further than me. Am I out of gas? I might be out of gas. Nope. You were right about those servers being messed up. We're not going to make it. Something happened. I see you flying around me, but I can't do anything. None of my keys are working. I can't get anything to work.
Yeah, I'm losing sync. Yeah, you call it an interdiction, but I'm moving my stick and my throttle, and I can't do anything. Let's see. Nothing. No controls. I'll try what I normally try. Um, options. Key bindings. This sometimes helps. Flight weapons. I don't know why this works sometimes. Did it work? Nope, it didn't work. And that's why we can't do anything right there. We had that open. I didn't even see that open. All right, so I can go back to Port Alvaso now. That, that was a weird bug. I've never seen that before. Yeah, you're going to have to jump us because I'm kind of stuck again. Because I think we're linked. There we go. Where are you? Did you already go? Yeah, you're already there. There we go. I was spooled up, hon. Things are just going weird, that's all. I'm down at 19 frames a second at that point. That's what was going on. Oh, I wasn't spooled up, Joe? Thank you. I appreciate you getting me, uh, keeping me in line. All right, we're here. Okay. Now we'll get close to Port Alasar. I don't see anybody that's... Yeah, everyone's green here, so I don't have to worry about anything. And I have no crime stat, unlike Joe. <laughs> I didn't get a crime stat when I get out of bed. <laughs> and thanks, everyone, for the follows. Okay, here we come back in. And our smoke in our cabin is just making it ridiculous to see. All right. All right. Landing gear down. Let me point at the supposed place I want to land. Landing gear down. All right. And I already learned my lesson in this damn prospector. I have to bring up my Moby glass. My Moby glass for this next piece. And Port Alisar. Please proceed to sign landing bay. All right, where's that? Okay, there it is. All right. Landing gear is out. Big giant ship over there. All right, Vri, I'm going down right here. All right. I'm going to land myself. Ooh! What the hell? Whoa! What is going on? I have to go and ask for clearance again. What the hell was that? So I have to ask again because it already said I landed. So now I've got to go and ask permission one more time. And now my... This is all just wonderful stuff tonight. All right. Esvri, thank you so much. Please proceed to sign landing bay. Okay, good. We're just going to use the auto land this time. 
All right. So we've got coming in, coming in, coming in. All right. We've got auto land going now. Ship is off, so we don't have to worry about anything, and my joystick is away. And we are out of the seat. Oh my god, thank god. Thank god. Alright. What the hell? Damn freaking broken ship. I paid to, I paid good money to fix this ship. Alright, good. All right, back me off of it. It's a beautiful, uh, but ugly ship. It's not beautiful at all. All right, let's get ourselves out of here. Hey, Joe, I'm sporting my space marshal <laughs> gear. Yeah. Dream Wraith, hey, how are you? And Whitebot. Wait, 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 what? It's a raid. Raid from who? What <laughs> for? Hey, how are you? All right, here we go. Playing a little bit of Star Citizen. And thanks to one of my viewers, Vri, who's in chat as G.K. Rollins instead of J.K. Rollins. 636, we now know where to find very good rocks to mine and we are going to see how much we made select a location our prospector holy shit we made 8k <laughs> much better than what I've been making before Joe 8,300 so much better yep all right that was perfect Perfect. Where are you, Vri? Thank you so much. Yeah. How do you salute? <laughs> I just turned the light on somehow. Oh, God. AK is pretty good. AK was great for me. Thank you so much, Vri. How how do you do the uh, em emotes again? I forget. Do you bring this up? Thank you so much, G.K. Rollins, Vreden, for subscribing to me. Thank you so much for showing me the way to find the Great Rocks. I could put that in a follow-up to my last video, which would be great. Um, this was kind of fun. This was kind of fun. And you subbed. Thank you. All right, so let's, uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing another run myself, but I've got to do something to despawn that ship. So I've got to wait for that ship to despawn. So I'm going to spawn a Hornet for first. And I'm going to try to go back there and just do one more run and get me back up to, uh, I spent a lot of money yesterday, Joe, and everyone else. I was well over 20K, but I bought weapons. I think I bought the weapons on my back. Do I have weapons on my back? Yeah, I bought that LM55. Thanks for the cheer. Thank you very much for the cheer. So I think we could do one more run right where um, Vreden brought us to. But we just have to respawn my prospector wait for it to despawn and respawn i'm looking to see where my ship is right now that's my anvil hornet is my so my super hornets out there yeah i don't see anything else all right let's go see if we can get that respawned and i might need Thank you very much, Dream Wraith. 
very much appreciate the follow. All right, so let's see. MIS Prospector. We're prospecting. And a little bit of lag. Oh, somebody just, someone just blew up. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, I won't be discouraged. What does the gold get you? Like four to six hundred credits instead? Yeah, I think this. Uh... Unfortunately, our automated system is unable to access that ship at this time. We apologize for any inconvenience. That ship. Let's try again later. That we'll ship, ship. That ship at this time. Well, I think we might not be doing anything. I knew you meant Agresium. I think this server is going down. Yeah, about 400. Yep, the server, you saw that. The server went down. Folks, that's the beauty of Star Citizen. It keeps you on your toes, wondering if you're ever going to get in or not. That's pretty awesome. Citizen Brian, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. It was very nice of you. I appreciate it. All right, let's get back going to. Let's see. We're gonna load. We're gonna load back in again. All right, so let's go back to Crusader. Hopefully, we get a different instance. Good. So I. I repurchased my prospector. I, I traded my prospector in in 2016, October of 2016, so I could, I, I melted like everything so I could get the carrier wing pack so I could have a Polaris. So, so when I, uh, so when I started seeing all the, work that was being done in mining i figured i couldn't be doing my videos without having a mining ship so i bought it back just recently which put me over the top to becoming a space marshal which i never really wanted to be but now i am but i've only been prospecting in the prospector since friday so it does take a steady hand on the throttle of the laser to actually get these rocks to fracture. And I'm telling you, I, I think almost everybody is gonna blow themselves up once because of the lag that there is um, on the servers sometimes. Because what happens is that when you're shooting the laser into the rock, the rocks are gaining energy. And that green line that you see on there, you have to keep it in there. If it hits the red line, you start to overcharge the rock. And when you overload the rock enough or overcharge it enough, it explodes. The bigger the rock, the more damage it does to your ship, which I find kind of ridiculous that a rock could blow up your ship, but somebody could shoot at your shields for 30 seconds to a minute without killing you at all. It's kind of weird. All right, so let's see if we could access our ship. All right, so we're going to the prospector right there. And this, this server feels brand new. Wow. Jo Notable Joe's gifting a sub to everybody. That's pretty nice, Joe. Brutus the bad guy. CO2. Thank you for subscribing. Each and every one of you. Thank you. All right. So we're going to CO2, I think it is. We're going to go get carbon monoxide. Oh, there we go, another. Thank you, no good <laughs> Nikki. That was very sweet of you. All right, we're going to get this going over here. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Thank you so much for gaining me people like that. All right, so we're going to go up here. Joe's the mod, by the way. <laughs> um... And also a very good friend, very dear friend. So how many of y'all that are here for Star Citizen are going to be at CitizenCon in uh, October? And if you're not going to be there, tell me how many of you are actually going to be watching it.
Ben's doing great. He, he, we, we text back and forth occasionally um, about just friend stuff, not about CIG stuff anymore because he's essentially doing jump point. So he doesn't have access to everything. Um, he was supposed to be in Atlanta right around um, the middle of August and he didn't come down, but he should be down here. I think he should be down here anyway, a little bit later on. So I'm just setting up my controls here. And look, my ship isn't on fire anymore. Vreden was right. All right, so we're going to try to do this on our own. All right. I can't go to work blocks Twitch, so... Oh, you're going to catch on on your work block ch blocks Twitch and you can't, okay? I understand people not being able to go. Roll the dice. No sub for you source binary, what do you mean? Are you asking for one? That's Daymar. So we go from Daymar we go to yellow. After a while, you get you figure out your way around this place. You know, I'm really excited about object contain container streaming coming. Is it too loud now? Oh my god! Every time we go to yellow, we get to, every time we go to yellow. Every time. All right, so we've got to get around these rocks. So I'm going to bring up the speed a little bit. So we've got all new contracts. If you know what's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. If you know what's good what for you. What have you got it? You bastard. Where did Yella go? Is that it? No, that's Kamarae. That's Yella. Okay. You missed the sub train. Okay, sub train. <laughs> All right. We're hitting yellow. And we're going to try to find this place on our own. What the hell? CIG has to do something about all these interdictions. I can't believe there would be this many pirates in a safe UEE space. Come on, CIG, get your act together. Well, at least we see yellow right in front of us now. It's pretty big now. All right. I've got to put a button Nothing on my... my oh, be quiet. If I had my... Maybe what I need to do is come back with my Saber Raven and just kill them all. Kill them all. You missed the sub train. Alright, let me see if I can do something over here. I want to bring this down just a little bit. Okay, good. Alright, good. Let's get over to Yella. And let's find that place that he brought us to. You know, I can't read any of the names. R Corp, Nakamura, Tareen, there it is, that's it. Yeah, every time, you shouldn't hit those two spots ever, I mean, I know they're trying to make the gameplay more interesting, but to get jumped every time just is driving me crazy. All right. So it's 9 o'clock. This is going to be it. I'm making one run, and I'm going to stop because I really want to get sleep, and I've got a lot of schoolwork to do this week. Essentially, I want to get everything done that I'm going to have due in a month. That way, when I'm in 
Austin for CitizenCon, I don't have to worry about anything. You jumped on the wrong server? Don't worry. I'm just going to look for it, that's all. So essentially, I'm going to jump in this direction. So I am a, I'm, I could tell by the sounds and by the skipping of the music right now that this server is probably not going to be long for this world. All right, but I am going to pull this up to about 900. Or keep the angle really shallow. So I can pull up when I want to get when I get close. So let's see. So it says exit the atmosphere. We don't want to exit the atmosphere. We want to enter the atmosphere. It's so weird playing on such a small screen because I have a 34 inch monitor. And I wish I could show you. OK, we're going to back off the throttle which means we have to jerk our nose up and down. All right, backing off the throttle. All right, so I think I remember where it is. We're going to see if I could remember. So I started flying real airplanes back in the early 80s. I had, I flew kind of like as a student pilot for a really long time because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. But I was young in the 80s, you know, 15 to 20 years old. And uh, I got to a certain point where I wanted my license and I got it. But in the very, very early days of flying, most of the flying that you did was what they call dead reckoning. And dead reckoning is you get out a map and you plot a course and then you set out on your way and you use landmarks to get places. And then after a while, you just learn the landmarks on the ground and you just go fly because you've been flying for 10, 15 years in that area and everything is cool. So that's what I did here. So the way I looked at this is that we were on an angle in about that direction. That was on my right side when I flew back to it. Now it's on my left and there was a peak behind me. So he flew about 20K. He flew about 20K in this direction. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fly about 20K in this direction. All right, you're on the server now, Cree? Vri, Vridan, Vridan. All right, that's good. All right, so we're going to go in this direction, about 20 kilometers, keeping Kosovo over there. And it was just over this ridge line, I think, that he started looking. And I'm going to just do that. Let's take a look. Nothing here. We have anything in any direction? There's a bunch of stuff over there. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff over here too. Nothing over there. I don't think anything's over here. Let's just take a look at some of these things. Oh, just a couple. There's one right here. And that is Corundum. What's that one? Let's bring up.
that's 14 so that means it's going to be like another 6k in this direction all right just another 6k over here yeah this is beginning to look a little bit more like it All right, there's a rock over here. Let's see if any of these are good. Well, that's diamond. Diamond's not good. We figured that out a while ago. Gonna have to find a way to drop markers, and I'm sure that's gonna be something we can do. Um, who is that? There's somebody over there looking. I wonder if it's somebody looking to uh, YouTube snipe. I see somebody. I'm wondering what they're doing. These are all diamonds. Yeah, these are all diamonds. I don't think these are good, but I think they're going to be over by this guy over here. Let's take off this and see who that is. That's probably Vreden. It's my guess. Vreden's over there. Or somebody else's. Nope, that's somebody else. Let's see what we got here. I have no weapons. I have no weapons, like always. No weapons. Why don't I have weapons? Let's see. I have no weapons. None. So let's try the old turn them off and turn them on again. We have no weapons. So why is this guy? This guy was stream sniping, I bet. So we have no weapons yet again. Power thing. You're saying it's the same thing I've been having for a while, right? Why stream sniping? Well, he might not be watching my stream. That's kind of arrogant to think he is. There's nothing I can do. Yeah. 
Yeah, shields are critical. So this guy, I don't know why. Go low is right. Thanks. I just wish I had, I wish I had some kind of weapon. What? What? It's an AI. Oh, yeah. His name is Jed Denver. It has to be an AI. Like I said. Mine him for all of his goodies. That worked. The mining laser. The mining laser worked. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the pieces of him falling. Look at it fall. That was cool as hell. Yeah, Jal, I said, I must be arrogant. Did you hear me say that? <laughs> because who would be looking at me? All right. A little bit. little bit over right over there all right good let's get over here let's get our stuff yeah I deserve it all right so let's take a look at some things all right so we have a couple of rocks down here and we're gonna see what they are We have gold. We don't want gold. We're not going to crash. That's gold, 23%. That's gold, 21%. Breeden's over there, so we'll go over there. All right, so what's this? Gold, three percent, point three percent. Check. Look for the lip. Yeah, that one says point four nine to one. Look for the lip. Oh, the lip. The lip. That, right there, the lip. Okay. All right, this one's dark, so it could be something different. It's corundum. That's just weird. All right, down the hill. All right, so we'll take a look at some of these rocks over here. It's just diamond. Just diamond, not that good. Whoa. When you start mining, for whatever reason, it gets really laggy. That's corundum. And on the lip, he's saying, on the lip. All right, so this one over here. Let's see what this is. Gold, 0.32 to 100. Yeah, on the side of the hill, see what you say. I got gotcha. you on the sides of the hill right here. 
Now this is one of those errors where it doesn't pop in. You see this? It's either underground or not popping. All right, what about this one? Nope, that one, that's not a rock. This one we already did. So it's the lip of all these craters or just this one? They always pop in the exact same space, so it's right where you were, not where I am right now. So this one's a 0 0.5 to 100. Is that good, 0 0.5 to 100? I'm wondering. All right. I didn't find anything over by you. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I think I found one. This one? That's just gold 0.32%. And what was this one over here? This one's 8% of Grecium. You're looking at that one over there. So what's that one right next to yours? It's gold. This one's a Grecium. What about that one right there? So it's a shale deposit I'm looking for. That's diamond. That's a shale deposit right there. That's gold. Okay. So this one has the most. And I'm going to go in. Even, even Vreden is saying this one's good. So I'm going to move in right to about there. And then I'm going to start playing with my throttle. Playing with my throttle. And I'm going to crack this rock. I think it was up at around 31%, 32% the last time we did this. So I'm going to bring it up to 31, 32, 32.5. I'm going to let it raise. If you look at the upper left-hand quadrant of my HUD, it says energy transfer graph. We want to keep that flat. We don't really want to have that spike up because in the lower left quadrant, we have to keep it very, very, very close See how it's going up? So we want to keep that close. We're fracturing it fine. Nope, we dropped it too much. It's hard. It's a little laggy. It's not really taking my inputs the exact way. But we're already at, and we fractured it. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to switch to the extraction. And I'm going to extract it, and we should make a few more bucks out of this. They all just fall down the hill. I mean, they had to put gravity in here, didn't they? And we chase our rocks down the hill. <laughs> We're getting them. And over there.
Oh, you do? I blew up a lot the first few times, but once I moved the throttle to one of the dials on the X56 joystick, it got a lot easier. So I have the throttle for the laser on one of the knobs that you can twist, and it makes it so much easier. Thank you very much for that compliment, by the way. I don't think mining is fun, but I definitely think it's interesting, and it's something to do in the game. I mean, it's something other, you know, something to do other than moving cargo back and forth between places, All right? Buying and selling, buying and selling. I don't mind doing that, but I find this to be a little bit more interesting. And I like things that take skill, right? So it takes a little bit of skill to be able to mine well in this game. And we're going to have to fracture one more of these tiny little rocks. All right, we turn that off. Let's get this bigger one over here because it's more likely to give us what we want. So we want to go up to about 11% there. And we want to get a little bit closer. So the energy transfer happens. So we'll stay at nine. We'll drop it. I should blow one up. Just now, nah, I'm not going to blow one up. I don't want to lose the agresium. I could go blow up a conundrum, or a conund whatever it's called. All right. Raise back up again. Raise back up. Come on. Back up. Right there. 6.35. There we go. We're going to leave it at 6.35. Oh, it's going up and down. It's like, why is it going up and down? All right. There we go. We should be fine right where we are. Um, one of your rocks just flew down the hill over here. Yeah, there was a little bit of lag as his rock came down the hill. Yeah, I'm spinning the knob. There's nothing. Yeah, we're, we're, we're locked. Yeah, we're locked. Okay. So there's a lot going on here. All right, let's go back up to... There's a lot of lag. A lot of lag. All right, let's bring it back up again, and hopefully there won't be so much lag this time. 8.3. And bring it to Come on, back it down. Back it down, back it down. The lag here is horrible. 3.95, that should be more than enough. Now that's going down. Four point seven five. Don't overcharge it. There it goes. Whoa. Whoa. Everything is wonky. All right, there we go. We got control back again. What the hell was that? I, I have no idea what just happened there. That was a lag spike. 
Yeah, CIG tech. Well, you know, most of the errors here are CIG tech. It knocked my laser. It kind of twisted it. Do you see that? That's a feature, not a problem. Are they? Yeah, okay, good. I was right. That is one. And hopefully we can get up to 100 without worrying too much. All right, come on. Keep it coming. Do we have another one right here? No. How about any others? Any others? No. And I'm at 94. All right. I'm not sure I want to do this again, but we will try it. I'm going to leave it at 4.35 and see what happens. Let the energy, energy transfer rate go up. That was just crazy, wasn't it? Nico Mimi 2. On the hill is more. I got this one, last one. If I can get this up to 5.15, we should be fine. No, that's going too high too fast. 4.35, hon. Nope. Bring it down. Bring it down. You see that? I can't get it up. I'm gonna bring it up 10% at a time here. Yeah, we're, 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 look at that, 15%. I don't understand this. I might just take it and go. All right, 2.75. Let's leave it at 2.75 and see, see what happens. Hands off, no throttle. All right. We'll bring it up to 2.85. I think he's saying that there's a purple over there. Let's see where he is. He's saying there's a purple up there. Got it. Got it. No, nope, it wasn't even... Oh, wait, there's one right there. All right. All right, we're good. We're good to go. And we're up. Oh, you're full. Yep. You're seeing it later than I am, so it looks like you're about 40 seconds behind me. Yeah, it's a pretty big lag. Well, it's better than the three minutes they give the first time you start streaming, you know? The game is so laggy, though. It makes it hard. This guy is pretty cool. Vreden, he could he could play with the enablers any time. So, Vreden, you could play with us. The enablers are the uh, group that was started from my original channel, and they're a great group of people if you ever want to just hang got a discord and we get together like once or twice sometimes three times a week we play all different games though not just star citizen this is going to help me recover all that cash i wasted on armor a couple of weapons parts of my ship <laughs> where i had twenty-four thousand uec and i went down to two thousand Yeah, you could join the Discord that's in the uh, channel below and send me a DM and I can get you into our Discord to play with us if you want. And that was great. And thank you very much for those of you that stayed and watched tonight. I appreciate it. So I did two runs. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for hosting, Nico Mimi. All right, we're going to get up and out of this. I did forget to refuel when I left. I'm wondering if I have... I don't know where you see fuel in this. I'm always at a loss as to, does anything here actually tell me my fuel? I still think that that freaking panel should be down in front of me and not over my head. It's like, what kind of situational awareness do I have if I'm looking up there? Freaking idiots don't know how to design a ship sometimes. All right. The HUD, we're on the bottom where it says Quantum Fuel 577. I'm worried not about quantum fuel. I'm worried about my regular fuel. Quantum fuel is for quantum jumping. The regular fuel is for actually flying. I know, it's probably like this. It's ridiculous. 84 on the top left. Oh, Joe, thank you. I'm stunned sometimes. All right, so. Oh, come on, why are we, we are so locked up. Where are we? Okay, there is where we have to go. Uh, we have major issues with thrusters. All right, so we have a couple of things that are obstructed. Thank you for following. All right, we got to go to OM3. All right. Oh, we got lots of followers tonight. Thank you so much, everyone. All right, and we are going to get ourselves. I really need to get myself one of those panels over here with keys on it. Oh, I do have one. Okay. I have something I can use. Now we're going to go back to Port Alisar and we're going to find it hard to get there because we're going to we're going to be interdicted twice. Because they're interdicting every time. Oh, and now it's going to turn me into a liar and we're going to get all the way there. There we go back in town all right folks after i sell this stuff we're going to end the stream i really appreciate everybody coming out tonight hope everyone had a happy labor day or at least had a lot of hamburgers hot dogs whatever you grilled out ribs barbecue cookout i'd like to say i hope you had lots of beer too yeah i did clean jump also lucky all right, coming in. There you are, I see you. Be careful. I've been known to hit my own people sometimes. Just ask Joe, he could tell you. All right. Comlink. All right. Oh, wow. We got down low this time. All right. Rita, you trying to get a landing pad? Okay. All right. And the ritual of moving the X-56 off the front of the desk. And we flip that switch on the X-56, turn off everything, and get out of our seat. I miss Ben's day too, a lot. But I understand why it had to go away. And uh, 
biggest reason I had to go away is Ben was taking on a different position. I really want to just do a show with Ben where it has nothing to do with uh, Star Citizen and just talking about geeky sci-fi stuff because he is like the king of geeky sci-fi stuff. Should just see all the different collections he has. Vreden. Pretty cool, Vreden. I think I blew up a thruster. R2, lock down that starboard thruster. <laughs> Alright, good. I'm right here. I thought he was going to let me go. Vreden's pretty awesome. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your night to show me this stuff. Pretty awesome. I had a good time doing it too. I'm going to have to show your sister, Joe. I'm going to have to show Correa where that is so she makes money prospecting. Yeah. You think you could find it, right? Just from watching the video? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Now I got almost seven, just shy of seven. I think I just made Vreden. Thank you so much. I I almost made back everything I spent. Last night I started the night at 23k and I ended the night at 23k. I think it was like 238 I was at. Oh, I'm so happy. Vreden you are an honorary member of the Enablers. Thank you so much. You are awesome. This is amazing. And wow, there is money to be made in mining. We figured that out. And I really appreciate the raid. Uh, I forget. Joe, do you remember who started the raid? I forget the name already. But for all those people that came over with the raid, thank you so much. And uh, I do miss Ben's Day also. But I did get back into streaming and making videos again. Citizen Brian. Brian. Citizen Brian. Okay. Citizen Brian, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. And I will try my best to reciprocate in the future. All right, folks. I'm going to bid you all adieu and sign off. It's been a wonderful evening, and I really appreciate it. And Vreden, again, thank you so much for all your help. And I'll talk to you all later. With that said, you all be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.